Hi, my name is Janice Fung and today we're going to be doing something that I have been thinking about for the past two weeks. A couple weeks ago I made a video inspired by BuzzFeed where I tried burgers at three different price points to see which one was best at its respective price point. I love that excuse of being able to eat three burgers in one day so much that I decided to do the same for sushi in Australia. Sushi is one of my favorite Japanese foods, so I cannot wait. Let's go to our first sushi destination. Sushi Hub first opened in Sydney in 2006 and now has nearly 80 stores across Australia. It specializes in providing fresh and quality sushi at an affordable price. For ease of comparison, I'll be getting the same pieces of sushi across all three restaurants I'll be visiting. So we'll be rating them based on their fish, the sushi rice, and a final overall score out of five. So what I've got is I've got the seafood deluxe and there is a assortment of different nigiris in that box. Without further ado, let's let's get started. The taste of the fish is very, very subtle. It is not bad at all. The only thing that I noticed is that the fish and the rice are both very, very cold. I guess like it's it's a bit of a trade-off in a in a convenience store sushi type place. Is it fresh? Absolutely. Is it delicious? Absolutely. It's just a bit on the uh, cold side. I couldn't really taste the cuttlefish, which I guess it's a good thing. The taste is very very subtle. Now we've got a cooked prawn. So the taste of the prawn is also very, very subtle. I expected more sweetness in the prawn. There wasn't that much. But overall, the texture would, is what you would expect from a fresh prawn. I've definitely eaten it if I was starving, like it's not, it doesn't taste bad or anything but I know that it can taste so much better if the tempura batter was like crispy and fresh out of the oil. That one probably wasn't the best piece of sushi in the entire sushi bar. So in terms of overall rating, the fish was fresh. Although I kept saying that the flavours were subtle, they were pleasant flavours and there was no fishy aftertaste. The rice was a bit on the cold side, which made it quite hard and a little grainy. To be fair, I went to Sushi Hub during the late afternoon, so the box might have been sitting in that fridge for a couple hours, which is often inevitable when it comes to convenience store sushi. Overall, I give Sushi Hub a 3 out of 5. Now on to our next destination, Hukuya. Hukuya is a small, family-owned Japanese restaurant that serves authentic Japanese food that isn't too over-the-top or fancy, but definitely fresh and delicious. It is always packed during dinner time, so make sure you book in advance if you want to go. So to try and keep, I guess, the competition consistent, I tried to order as many of the same nigiris as I did in um, Sushi Hub. All right, let me start by preparing the wasabi and the soy sauce. All right, the first piece of sushi that we'll be trying is the salmon nigiri. Salmon was very oily. There was no fishy taste to it at all. And that rice was perfectly balanced. It doesn't crumble, it sticks together well. And the ratio of the salmon to the actual rice is perfect as well. It 
just melts in your mouth. It is so soft. The prawn is so extremely fresh. It's very firm in texture, what you would expect from fresh prawns, I guess. There is a bit of sweetness to it that you don't really get from some of the other fish that I had. All in all, it's delicious and I wish I had more. All right, now time for the overall rating for Hukuya. The fish was so fresh. It was oily and firm, but once I bite into it, it was like butter that melted in your mouth. The rice was warm and slightly vinegary. It was firm and didn't collapse when I picked it up with my chopsticks. And you can actually taste and feel the individual grains of rice in your mouth. So taking all this into account, I give Hukuya a four and a half out of five. And now for a restaurant that I've never been to, but I've always wanted to try. Sushi E. This restaurant is, according to Google, an acclaimed high-end sushi restaurant with sophisticated decor and a marble bar for chef watching. Situated in Sydney City's Establishment Hotel, Sushi E's menu features a modern take on traditional Japanese food. This restaurant was included in the Good Food Guides list of hatted restaurants for 2019. Okay, so I've just arrived at Sushi E. I've ordered a range of nigiris that for the purposes of being able to compare our cheap and our medium level price range, I'm really, really excited about this. I was actually going to get takeaway because I personally felt really self-conscious building in such a nice restaurant, um, but they don't do takeaway. Okay, so the sushi has just arrived. I'm so incredibly excited. I cannot even contain how excited I am to try the expensive version of sushi here in Sydney. incredibly good. The rice is warm, it's not cold, it's, it's perfect temperature. It's a little bit sticky but it's not mushy. You can still taste individual grains of the rice in the nigiri. And the fish, oh man, it is so fresh. It's so fresh but it melts in your mouth as well. I cannot wait for the next one. I've never had fish that is so thick on a piece of nigiri before. It like perfectly hugs the rice and it's like the perfect ratio of raw fish to rice. It's so, so good. The piece of tuna is so fat, but it's so fresh and it like, completely just melts in your mouth. I didn't know that scampi could taste like that. It tastes like they just caught it from like the beach and then served it on my plate. It's so fresh. It has like a hint of sweetness as well. I want another one. 
but I can't afford it right now. But. It's like little pops of the ocean is bursting in my mouth right now. Last nigiri on my plate, it is a bittersweet moment, but it's okay. Honestly, I couldn't fault the food at Sushi E. Every piece of sushi I had was not only beautiful to look at, but so incredibly fresh and delicious. The natural oils of the fish made it glisten in the light, and it is so soft like butter once you take your first bite. The rice is warm and sticky, but you're still able to differentiate its individual grains. Honestly, every piece of sushi I had was so good. And if I were to give a rating based on just their fish and their rice alone, I'd give Sushi E a 4.75 out of 5. With all this said and done, if I had to choose a favourite out of the three, giving regard to the fish, the rice, the price, and the overall experience, Hakuya is still my favourite. Am I a little bit biased because I've been visiting that place at least once a month for the past five years and the owners know my order? Maybe, but there's a reason why I keep going back. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other food you want to see a cheap versus expensive comparison for. Thank you for watching till the end. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays, so be sure to check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!